Hi, it's Megan and I'm here with Solo Luna Yoga and today I'd like to do a tutorial, part two actually, um, regarding the psoas muscle. So um, in our past tutorial, I broke down Parjva Konasana, which is a really great pose um, to open up the psoas muscle. So today we're going to add to that and we're going to do um, low lunge variation and then a crescenting low lunge. So we're going to come into downward facing dog to begin. We start in downward dog, setting up um, this foundation, and then we're going to step forward and come into a lunge, and I'm going to lower my left knee down to the mat. And so I've got my ankle stacking underneath my knee, and my left knee as it places down towards the earth, what I want to do is isometrically, energetically draw it forward. And also to balance this action, I'm gonna draw the right heel back. Okay, so the left knee drags forward and the right heel draws back. So what this does is works with, um, specifically in the left leg, the, the seesaw principle, well, and the right for that matter. As we drag the left knee forward, the head of the thigh bone will, will move back. The groins will move back, which will be helpful as we open up into the pose. From here, um, I lengthen out coming onto my fingertips and I'm gonna place my right hand to the top of my right thigh and then the left to follow. And left knee drawing forward, right heel dragging back. Okay, so the psoas muscle again attaches from the inner groin, wraps over the crest of the ilium all the way to the thoracic 12 vertebrae. So this pose, this low crescent anjaneyasana is gonna be um, effective at opening up the psoas. So extending through the fingertips, I begin to open up into a bit of a back bend open through the heart and the chest so I can feel this um, deep opening along the front side of the pelvis and you're not going to get as much into the thoracic portion of the psoas in this particular variation it will target more of the lower portion okay, and then we curl keeping the back of the head supported and lifted base tips of the shoulders to the back side of the heart okay and then I come back to center and I'm going to add to this right hand to the top of the right thigh so I'm pressing the thigh bone down into the hamstring. Again, left knee dragging forward. Flesh of the right glute descends towards the crease in the right knee. Lengthening, and then I'm gonna crescent over to the right. Okay, as I crescent to the right, I can now get a deeper stretch to the psoas, and it actually does start to move up into a little bit of the higher portion of the psoas muscle. And I extend over, keeping the head of the arm bone plugging, shoulder on the back lengthening, reaching, keep dragging left knee forward, right heel back, and then slowly you release, come back, and lowering back down. So over the next couple of um, episodes, I'll be showing you some more poses that will specifically target uh, the psoas muscle, and then what we'll do is we'll link them all together and come up with a sequence. So um, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I uh, would love it if you would subscribe to the channel, Sola Luna Yoga. Have a good evening.